Oh, he bougie is out of insult. <gasps> my face looks so orange. <laughs> oh my God. I can't even see the blush. <gasps> Wait, I forgot my face powder. <laughs> this whole thing is so wrong. <laughs> Yo, this is the makeup look from hell. Let's play in some makeup. Some of this is new and some is old. We're gonna do a full face anyway. I'm in front of my vanity, which I have not used in years. I just had it in the backdrop of this studio and it actually was right there. If you saw my vlog, then you saw me changing things around. So I'm happy to be able to sit in front of it because it's fun. It's fun to just do something different in a different area because you know I was in the bathroom or in the living room. So here we are. Let me know if you like this new setup. I am gonna be filming all over really, but this is just another one of the places I'll be filming in. I'm gonna use the House Labs Tri-Clone Skin Tech Foundation. The shade is 530 Deep Neutral. This is obviously not new. I did a whole video on this, but it's been a while since I used this. So I said, let's take this out. It's just been too long. You feel what I'm saying? Let's see what she's talking about. I got some fun brushes from LYS Beauty. And if you follow me, on TikTok then you saw me using some of them. Oh, I remember this being a little thick. Yeah, it has a grip to it. This is medium coverage. It's been a while and I didn't look I didn't look it up on Sephora or anything. So I'm just looking at it as I'm applying it and it's given medium coverage. If you have the foundation, let me know. We know that it's the winter time. The weather is a lot cooler. And if I remember this correctly, this has skincare in it. It's looking like it's gonna be hydrating. It has a natural finish to it and it's medium coverage for sure because I can still see my skin. And right here, I have a dark spot and I can still see it. This is not my exact skin match. I just, as I'm looking at this, my face is looking <laughs> red. Maybe orange. <laughs> We're gonna make it work, okay? Now this concealer I have not used in a minute. And I don't know what happened with it. This is the Kosas concealer. The shade is 8.7. I don't remember. You see what I'm saying? Like <laughs> some of this stuff I'll use. First of all, the shade looks really good. I'll use and put away because I gotta get through other things. And then it's like, yo, did I like this? <laughs> I mean, if I kept it, I liked it. Cause that is one thing. If I use it in a video or just at home and I don't like it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of it. So if I kept it, I must've liked it. So here we are using it again. Cause it's been a while. If you've used this Kosas concealer, let me know. And and let me know what shade you use. Again, this is 8.7. All products will be linked down below and you can shop them if you have any interest. This melted nicely. Barely any need for me to blend further. What? This shade is matching nicely with this foundation. And like I've said several times, depending on the foundation, the concealer may blend nicely. It may look too light. It may look too dark. It all depends, you feel me? So when your skin has lightened up because you're in the sun less, then your concealer shade may look different with your foundation. Okay, I had to think because I don't want to confuse you. So if you use that light concealer, like if I were to use this shade right here with my winter foundation color, so let's say for instance, Fenty 485 Pro Filter, this would look mad light because that Fenty shade 485 is mad dark. And I like it because it's a little bit deeper than my skin tone was this summer, but it was so good and I think it looked beautiful. But if I were to use this on that, it would look mad light, okay? If that's what you're going for, then do you. But if it's not, you have to have a different concealer and a different foundation for the winter time and a different concealer and a different foundation for the summertime. If you already knew this and you already have that, come and let me know because you are first in your class, okay? <laughs> and if you don't know this and you're now like, what, what should I do? If you want, stick with the foundation and concealer that you already like, just get a different shade. You feel me? This is looking way too evenly blended. What I mean is the foundation is not dark. Look at it, it's lighter than my neck. I'm irritated. <gasps> did I like this? <laughs> did I like, why did I keep this? I'm so annoyed. This foundation is not, is not, is not giving what I need. It's looking orangey red. That's number one. It is too light, meaning it's not dark enough to match my neck. I'm irritated today. You have to keep on going because I don't have time to go wash my face, do my skincare. It's just too much of a, of a job. Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. This is the shade 5.1. I recall this being light. Even just look at it. Yep. Okay. See how light this is? If I were to use just this on my summer foundation shade, it would look mad light, just crazy, uncomfortable. For this situation right here, this will work. So now I'm trying to lighten my highlight some more. I want to contrast. I need there to be a difference between the foundation and the concealer because I like the way that that looks as opposed to right now where it just looks like I have on foundation. It doesn't look like I even put a concealer on and it's because of the shade of that concealer. Not because of the concealer itself, it's because of the shade. If you want a more natural look, that'll work for you, you feel me? But I like my concealer to show, you feel what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave the cheeks, I'm gonna leave the rest. I just want the inside. This is looking better. Should I do the middle of my face? I don't know. Yes, that makes a difference, so let's do that. 
a little bit right here because that makes a difference when this is nice and light we don't need this to be too too light so let's just stay right here and then get the leftover product and move it around. Watch me. So we're gonna pinch this beauty blender and here we are focusing right here. And it's a cream, so it's going to spread. You see that? You don't always need to be doing that whole V looking like a tunnel when you kind of try to pour oil into a container. You don't have to do all that. Especially since I'm doing my second concealer and especially since this is mad light. Look, look, I brought that down and look at how much product is there. I mean, that was, I think I didn't use much product, but it's moving the way it should. It's moving, so no need to be dragging everything. I'm, I'm blotting this on a towel in front of me. And now the butt of the sponge to blend because I don't want to add. I want to blend really, but let's, let's move it around more. Just move it up and then the butt of the sponge to blend the lines. Now this highlight down the middle of my nose is wide. We're going to fix that with the contour. So that doesn't concern me. All right. So there's that. If that was helpful to you, girl, let me know. I, that's why it's good to keep different shades of concealers. If you buy them, they're not necessarily a mistake. Keep them because you can make it work depending on what foundation you're using. You feel me? So maybe that's why I kept these. I'm going to continue to keep these. You feel me? Okay. So to contour, I was in Target and I'm like, yo, what's up with Black Radiance? It's been a minute. I mean, are we still using her? I want to know because I haven't used her in a minute. I mean, I used to, shoot. I used to be all up in this drugstore stuff and then your girl got a little bougie, you feel me? <laughs> and that's okay. You know, be bougie is not an insult. <laughs> We go back to the roots every now and again, you feel me? So this is the Black Radiance Color Foundation Stick and this is the shade, it ain't 6826, what? I thought it was, I could have sworn this was called Chocolate Dipped. I'm annoyed. That rapper definitely said Chocolate Dipped anyway, cause it ain't no number. I don't, why are y'all getting all, y'all acting up. And this is brand new. Why does it look like someone been scratching on the, the front of that? Excuse me? I just took the wrapper off of this. What happened? <gasps> My face looks so orange. <laughs> Okay, hopefully the powder will do something to balance it. Okay, here we are. Oh, bless his name. This is, see, yo, testing new products and stuff. These videos be so irritating. Good thing I don't really have anywhere to go today, you feel me? But I have, I have stuff to do. You know what I'm saying? It's not important, but it's important. This is a, I should have used this as my foundation. I wanted to use this as a contour because you know, you can really use these products to do whatever you want it to do. I wanted to use this as a contour, but it's not dark enough. You see it, but that's not the level of darkness that I like. I need my contour to be dark. Listen, I'm gonna put some right here because in the middle of my face, yeah, the contour don't need to be too much, but on the, on the outside, like what? No, we're gonna go over that with something else. So let's just do this right here, taking some of the product and let's drag it down when a light application. We don't need this to be too harsh, although that blended in very nicely and I can't see it. So we do need to bring it down. <laughs> oh God, yo, I have not drawn my nose contour in maybe 10 years. If you used to draw the, the nose contour, let me know. And if you still do it, girl, you a, you a daredevil, okay? You are daring. Cause this is a risky, risky, yes, your buddy, risky type of behavior. Risky, you feel me? You know that song? Comment, let me know. You gotta just top it off at the tip right here. Cause it needs to connect, you feel me? Going on the days where your nose contour went like that, like an airplane, like a landing strip and then it didn't end. It needs to end, you feel what I'm saying? So let's top it off. Okay, so let's blend this into the eyebrow. That is so important. It just looks so good. And this will look more even once we do our face powder. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this here at my vanity. This foundation stick and use it as a foundation. Let's do our actual contour. This is the KVD Vegan Beauty Cream Foundation. The shade is 098. When I put it on, if you've been here, you already know. You're gonna see why I like it. I'm trying to think. I wanna keep this bottom sort of clean, although it does have concealer on it. I don't wanna put foundation on it because I'm gonna use it for my blush. So that's why I'm like, mm, let me not use that right now. I forgot I had this LYS one from their holiday collection. Look how pretty this is. Let's use this one for my contour. Yep, it fits nicely right up in here. So take some of the product. Boom, 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 and zoom, zoom, zoom. And let's get her where she gotta go. Where did I push back my wig? But let's move this because, hello? Way darker than that stick foundation was. And I need this contour to be dark because I need the contrast. The contour for me gotta be real dark. Look at these hairs acting up. I can't believe it. I can't stand it. What's wrong with this? What's the point of this headband if it's not gonna hold the hairs back? Yeah, so if you don't feel confident in your ability to blend your contour or your highlight, I can see where having a stark or harsh or bold contour like this would make you wanna, wanna run away. So if you're beginning just not too sure about your contour and, and your highlight, then pick colors that are not gonna be too harsh, get comfortable with it. And then when you're ready to, to venture out some more, you'll know, girl, stuff is falling down. I cannot, okay, right? You see how bold that is? Look at the look at the difference. This is bold. 
We're gonna blend it though, all right? No problemo, no problemo. This is where the butt of the sponge, because it just has concealer on it, we're gonna go here, right in the middle where that line was. You want the highlight to look like it's fading into the contour. And do you see how when I came to this side, I turned my arm over because this part is where the concealer is and this part is where the contour is. I don't want to mix it. I still want my highlight to show, you feel me? I put it there for a reason, it needs to stay. And then we did the same thing, turning it over so that everything is where it needs to be, basically, okay? And look, it's gone. You could do on this clean part, the same thing here, just not to mess anything up, but I'm not concerned. I want it to still show. Let's set all of this using the Givenchy Prisma Libre Powder. This is number five, Bopoli Mimosa. I've used this before. This one's brand new though. Ooh, it's the GGG for me. So it has four quadrants and they all mix together to give you the color that you need. There's another one that would match my skin tone more. This one I'm gonna use to highlight my face. Obviously, if you're lighter than me, then you can use it for your face, but this is for moi. It comes with this finger pad, pouchy, what you gonna call it, but I'll be using them because I don't trust them, okay? Let's make sure that there's no creasing under my eyes. And then let's take this LYS brush. Okay, back of the hand, I don't know how much I got on this brush, good Lord. You know I normally do a different powder, but I gotta give this one a try. I like this brush because of the shape like a diamond. It looks so smooth. I have not done a matte under eye in its entirety like this in a while. And I say that because I'll mattify directly under my eye because of the creases and then I'll do my luminous setting powder, but I have not done a full matte under eye in a long time. Now because I'm gonna cover a bigger area, let's take the sponge. I just didn't trust it from under my eyes because it's round. It's not gonna get in how I want it to. And I intentionally want there to be a line with the setting powder. I'm gonna go on the tip, you feel me? A little bit like that. Let's go on the back of the hand to diffuse it and then let's go. This is matte, matte, baby. Blotting it on the back of your hand is a fail safe way to make sure that you don't put so much on your face, okay? If you're daring and you don't mind, go right to the face, but I do, so I gotta go a little easy, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Yo, this is mazat. Seeing my face like this is a shocker. Let's go over the brows because I like for this to be really dry. When I apply the brow product, it just feels better and goes on better. All right, we doing some new things with this face. My under eye like this is very unusual for me. <laughs> Here's another brush that came in the holiday set with LYS. And I don't know what this is for, but I'm gonna use it for my cheek because of the size of it. It's not big enough to, to do the face, in my opinion. And here's the LYS bronze in the color worthy. All right, so look at it to see how much I picked up because I don't want, you know, I don't want there to be too much in one area. And we're going over to blend this in, starting toward the hairline so that it's not too harsh and then coming in, because you don't want to look like you got a bruise on your face. You want to contour, but you don't want to be given bruise. You feel me? <laughs> I have to be honest. I feel so odd not having, and this is leftover product, not having a highlighted under eye. I haven't used one in a while. This is the LYS Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream blush and the shade is epic. I used a different one in a different video. It didn't show how I needed it to. And this one I just had in the stash. So the bottom of a blender and let's pounce, pounce, pounce. And let's see, I don't know. Now I'm, see, I'm thinking as I put it on my face because my face is so orange. Oh my God. I can't even see the blush. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Oh, <gasps> wait, I forgot my face powder. Why does my face look like this? I know something is different, but yo, I am so out of pocket. When I do things that are not part of my normal way of doing things, it just all goes to hell in a handbasket. I'm so irritated. One size Patrick style, deep dark 4G. Oh my God. This is going to bring it together. We're going to just skip this blush. It normally looks great on me. You just can't see it because this foundation is so wrong. This whole thing is so wrong. <laughs> Yo, is this wrong or right? Ah, you might gonna be like, girl, it looks so good. This is one of the days. Mm, 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 mm. Do we do blush before highlight? It's been so, it's been so long since I've done this. <laughs> My face looks orange. Hi, and here I am. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like on brown skin like mine and yours, I'm sure, that an orange blush looks best. So this is Tiger Lily from Sephora. But then I'm laughing because this is orange and red, if you can see. 
I'm laughing because my face is already orange and I went and grabbed the like reddish orange blush. I'm so irritated. I don't think any of these are gonna show. Yo, this is the makeup look from hell. How do you put orange blush on an orange face? Hey! Uh -uh. And yet, it won't work. Yo, you can see it a little bit, but I still think I look ridiculous. <laughs> Yo, I'm supposed to film another video after this, but I don't think I can take this face and do another video. I don't even want to look at it. I, like, I wouldn't want this leftover product just to make sure that the contour and the blush blend together, you feel me? Can you believe that I've never used this Sephora Micro Smooth Captivate Multitasking Bait Face Palette? What? What? So let's see what she's saying, okay? Ooh, do I wanna do rose gold? <laughs> oh, do I wanna go here? This looks mad light, but I think this is gonna just kill the whole thing worse. Let's go here. Ooh. Wow, that's a lot of pigment. Hold on, uh-oh, hold on. Okay, back of the hand. All right, all right. And then right here. This is the main area we wanna start off with. I think it looks pretty subtle, but noticeable. Meaning it ain't too harsh, you feel what I'm saying? I'm not used to the contrast of the matte and then shimmer, cause it's been a while. Taking some more back of the hand going right here. This is the area we wanna really hit. Let's just even all this out and go down the middle of the nose. I like for that area to be highlighted, so that's important. How does that look to you? <laughs> <laughs> Even the way I ask is a problem. Hey, this, this bedu is a problem. Okay, what we got? We got, what, what's this? Rare Beauty Brow Harmony Precision Pencil. And this is a shade Soft Black. Ooh, is this gonna be my shade? Hold on. All right, oh, this is pretty. The diamond shaped stick of the pencil. Oh, Jesus. <gasps> wow, this is very uh, pigmented. Hold on. <laughs> I went in a lot harder than I should have. Excuse me, this works. <laughs> I shouldn't have went in so hard. Wow, I'm so used to my Charlotte Tilbury, which is much more forgiving, and it's in the shade Natural Black, so I have to push into my skin to get it to show. This, you don't need to do much. Jesus, okay. Wow, let's turn it over. Maybe this will be my new my new favorite brow product. That really just went on easily. So let's see, we're brushing into everything to soften up a little bit on the strokes because what in the world? I like to do my brows differently with makeup than without. Cause obviously without I have microblading and this is just my prerogative. All right, it's giving brow strokes. Eyebrows are done. We're gonna do the spray cause I need some life on this face. I just need something. Okay, this is the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh and this is gonna add, you can even see it has oil on the inside. So this is gonna make my skin look dewy, okay? And I want that right now. <laughs> and I got my fan to help, you know, melt it down. I miss the sides. And don't squeeze your face when you spray it, otherwise you're gonna create creases. Stretch it out, stretch out your eyelids so the spray can dry in between, you feel me? See, now the, the baked highlight looks better. So if you're not gonna do a cream highlight, then putting a spray on after the, the powder or baked highlight is definitely the way to go, boo-boo, okay? I have a little bit of powder on my eyelid and that was from my Givenchy setting powder. I was gonna do eyeshadow, but let's just do powder on the eyelid and just wrap it all up together. This is my face powder. I'm gonna pat first since this is dewy from that spray. This is gonna look like a light, smoky eye. We're not intending for it to be. It's just gonna look like it. And the reason why it looks like it is because of the contrast between this and the brow bone highlight. Do you see that? If it all were the same color, then there would be no contrast. Now, under my eyes, I do have creasing because it's normal. And what I like to do is to smoke out the bottom just to conceal that creasing. I mean, it's not magic, but it's not gonna show as much when you have an eyeshadow color down there, close to a brown. So when I do my usual soft wham every day, brown smoky eye that I love to do, you're not gonna see it. This is my face powder, so it's a softer brown, and it's looking like that again because of the contrast between my highlight and then this powder, but it's gonna conceal it enough where it's not as obvious, you know? All right, let's do the highlight with the milk color chalk and the shade is Kickball right here because what? 
I need to brighten this up, you feel me? I'm just gonna open the eyes up a little bit. Oh, let me go look and see what, what eyeliner I have because I have not done a cream waterline in the longest time. That's a good way to take the eye look up a notch even if you haven't done eyeshadow per se. It just, it just makes it look a little more spicy. Okay, here's what I mean. I happen to have this KVD tattoo eyeliner, long wear gel eyeliner and the shade is canvas beige, okay? So it's gonna open up the eye. We're gonna put it right in the waterline. Back in the day, we used to do white, honey, okay? We are doing beige now. If you're gonna do this. I have not done this in years. It might look a little creepy to you, but it's really pretty. We're gonna put some brown to balance that out. No way I'm gonna just do this and leave it. Mm -mm, it's gonna look crazy. And if you get it on your skin a lot, it looks, it looks a lot more bold. I mean, that wasn't what I was trying to do. It just happened. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a brown eyeshadow from this Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. A dark brown, mind you, not a light brown, because we already have a light brown down. And right here, we're gonna tight line underneath. Then I'm gonna show you what it looks like as a contrast from one eye to the next, and it makes a difference. Now, this is the way to go subtly, because that liner is so light. I'm not trying to do black, you feel what I'm saying? But you see a difference, right? It just looks more seamless here, and then when I do mascara, it'll really come together. So the first eyeliner was in the waterline. This brown liner, which is actually an eyeshadow, is on the skin of the eye, okay? So there's that. And on the top, I'm gonna do black because I'm gonna be wearing bold black lashes. You could do a brown liner if you wanted. We're just gonna do black, okay? This one is the Milk Makeup, and the shade is Outer Space. Now, I got this new mascara from Bare Minerals. This is the Maximist Mascara. Never use it if you have. Comment and let me know. This just came in. Oh, this is huge. Let's see what she's talking about on the top. Even though I'm gonna do my lashes, you gotta put your mascara on, baby. I see some length. What do you see? But I don't see volume. I don't see the thickness that I tend to enjoy. Even on my top lashes, I still tend to enjoy that volume. What? They just look so skinny. I see the length, but that's it. Where's, no, I'm not a fan. Okay, so for the bottom lashes, I'll do something different, but let's do my Old Faithful D22 lashes. These are on Amazon for $6. And they're what, $3 if you get it from AliExpress. If you're in a brush, get the Amazon ones, honey. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You feel me? Links are below in the description box, as I mentioned before. I love how full these are. You get, there are lots of different options. So if this is too full and too thick for you, then do you, you feel me? Because I'm gonna always do what? Me, you feel me? So this is what I like, and this is what I've been wearing for years. I love these lashes for my my makeup, and this, uh, this is the Kiss I Envy Super Hold Glue. Really good, love that you can brush it on, you feel me? And then, if you got your fan, you can speed up the tackiness process by doing this. And then I spread the lash like so, and have a mirror that's down more, and put this on top. And then you wanna push it in so that you can feel the coldness of the lash glue on your skin. You want it to touch your skin, you feel me? And you wanna push it in so that it's on your skin. Right now, what's killing me is a lot of new things, okay? So what's killing me is the color of the foundation. What's also killing me further is the eyeliner because it's been, it's been a while, you feel me, see? And then what's also killing, 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 like actual killing me more further is the fact that I don't have any eyeshadow to balance out these thick lashes. When I have an eyeshadow, it all blends together. So this is what I mean. It's actually reminding me of me not having on makeup <laughs> and having such fluffy lashes on. <laughs> Woo! If this is your look, comment and let me know. Love this lash clamper. It's a half lash curler. Love it because then I can press my lashes and the lashes together because you don't want there to be any differentiation. You don't want there to be a, a gap. You look to the side, you don't want to see your lashes and then the lashes. No, it just all needs to look together. Fantastimo! And then bottom mascara is so important when you have huge lashes like this, and that's nothing. If I just had these on the individual way and my bottom lashes don't match on a day-to-day -day basis, to me, I think that looks wild. And that is my opinion. So I'm keeping my eyes like this because the bottom lashes are so long. Now this looks better. It looks like it's coming together a lot better. You know? Oh, I love it. Okay. Because the, the mascara is helping to balance everything out. Now, on to the lip. I got these two lipsticks from Sephora. I've had these for some time. It's a sickness that I haven't used them yet. <laughs> this darker one is called Malt Shake. I almost said Malt Milk Milkshake. Malt Shake. And I think this is brown. Let's see. Oh, it's more of a... 
Oh, it's more of a berry. Okay, that's okay. We're gonna still make it work because the colors on the, on the outside of this don't always match for these lipsticks in particular. This is nice and creamy. It's going on so lovely. Back in the day, I would have put this on my whole lip. I don't like doing berry. I feel matronly when I do that. And I know, is it just me? And this is 73 Desert Char- Wait. Okay, I can make this work. Desert Charming. I can make it work. A light orange and a berry color. We're gonna make it work. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Don't be scared, girls. Don't be scared, okay? <laughs> she looks so pretty and she ombre so lovely. This is a matte, but it ain't feeling matte to me. I'm feeling like a satin, because I don't have a gloss on my lips and I'm seeing a shine. Really pretty. Okay, so I've done a look like this before. Okay, a lip. I've done a lip like this before. If you saw the video, comment and let me know. But let me know which of these products you enjoy. Do you like this look? Do you like the lip? Let me know. I didn't curl my hair, I just took the pins out because I just ain't got time. It's like a little frizzy, but you know we move. I'm gonna go look in daylight and see how I feel about it. <laughs> But at least from right here, it's okay. It's gonna work for today, but let me know how you enjoyed this video. And also, if you have any suggestions, comment them below and take a look at the description box and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.